Welcome to MECO's setup and training video for the MC2000 T2 controller, marking head and accessories. In this video we will cover basic installation procedures, simple programming steps and a few main functions of the T2 controller. I am holding in my hand one of three components that was delivered with your system. This will be the filter regulator lubricator unit. This unit is only found on pneumatic machines. Electric machines do not require this unit and do not use compressed air. We have inlet or shop air coming in from this direction just prior to the manual on off adjustment knob. You want to supply clean dry compressed air. That pressure is regulated with this black knob. Turning this counterclockwise will reduce the pressure and turning the knob clockwise will increase it. Normal operating pressure is between 50 and 100 psi. The first bowl of the unit is going to filter the air and remove some of the water that is coming into the filter. You will need to check this bowl occasionally for the accumulation of water and bleed if necessary using the valve underneath. The second bowl should be filled with common pneumatic tool oil. This can be purchased at your local home improvement store. The bowl can be filled with oil by either removing the bowl or through the fill screw located at the top of the unit. The oil flow adjustment screw on top of the unit is preset at the factory and should not be adjusted. The purpose of the oil is to keep this o-ring in the cylinder lubricated. It is very important that this o-ring be lubricated at all times. Failure to do so can significantly decrease mark quality and depth. This will require a very minimum amount of oil. If you have a dry o-ring or have excess oil on your part after marking, please consult MECO service. The regulated shop air will be coming out of this direction and then going to the marking head itself through a solenoid. Some portable units will have the air hose and control cable enter through the pistol grip. We will now look at the T2 controller. This is the back panel of the console. There are several connections to be made here. Incoming power with an on off switch directly above. Marking head cables go here. And units requiring an external stop start button go here. Other connections include automat inputs and outputs. An external SD card slot third access control, and COM ports 1 and 2. Barcode scanners and keyboards can be hooked up by using COM2. The USB port is not functional at this time. Here we have a portable 100 by 17 millimeter super fast marker with an N14 head or stylus. The unit has a green start button on the underside of the pistol grip, which will start the mark by pushing and releasing. Do not hold in the start button. The stop button is located on the side of the unit and if pressed once during marking it will pause and pressing a second time will cancel the mark. Pressing the start button after the unit is paused will continue the mark where it left off. Machines with external start stop buttons work in the same fashion. A couple of notes to be made. The cylinder assembly here should be no more than hand tight. Do not use a wrench or pliers to over tighten. Check the cylinder occasionally to make sure the cylinder is tight. 